Alright, we're back. I'm recording with Debut again, not because I don't like Power Director, but just because I want to be able to compare them, these two episodes side by side. So, uh, yeah, we're recording with Debut again, just tell me what you think of this compared to, um, Power Director. <clears throat> not to get into a big tech talk, you know. I mean, really, there's not a whole lot to talk about right here, aside from just hacking and slashing enemies, but um, with Ta Power Director, it basically has everything that Debut does, as far as convenience goes. Um, you know, it has the timer, all that. What it doesn't have, though, is um, the screen size is a little bit small. It's, it's nothing big, it's just something that's a little bit irritating, just because the screen is small enough that it becomes a little bit of a hassle. Um, other than that, it has no frame rate problems, so I really like that. With Debut, uh, I do tend to have some frame rate problems while recording, so... Between the two, I don't know which one I prefer. This one is nice because I can kind of set the screen size debut, but with with uh, Power Director, it records a little bit nicer, basically. Although the audio was a little bit crackly, so... Sorry I'm ranting about all this stuff you probably don't care about. Um, just wanna see if I can... if I should switch to Power Director or uh, stick with debut. Either way, Power Director is a good video editor. It's just everything in one, basically. <laughs> so, anyways, let's go down to this floor. Let's see what it holds. A thing. Also, what I've learned from playing this game is if you see an open doorway, just walk into it. It doesn't matter if you think you're going to lose your way, just see any open doorways, go there first. Because it's probably going to lead directly into a dead end that. Otherwise, you'll miss some important item in. I think we're coming into something like that pretty soon. Uh, let's drop down here. These guys are like bombs. Giant, deathly turtle bombs. The drop honey. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you see one of those, just walk straight in there. I think we have some pretty good stuff at the bottom of the shaft. If I remember right. And yeah, we're leveling up pretty fast in this place. Which is quite nice. You definitely want to have a lot of health and power and all that. I never liked these guys all that much. They're just irritating! Oh no. Oh no, I am platforming like a dummy. My goodness, man! Let's get that. So... While we are running around this place like a madman, uh, I was thinking, once I get the PS3 and Fallout 3, um... I really want to do some videos with Fallout, like maybe a video series, not really a... I guess it would pretty much be a Let's Play, but since that game is so open-world-ish and I could never, you know, do a complete playthrough of it, I could, but it would be ridiculous. Um, I was thinking maybe I could do a Viddler-specific thing since I should actually do something with my Viddler account every once in a while, and I could do a Fallout Diary or something, and it could be like 30 minutes or 30 minute videos, I just record a whole bunch. I don't know. But anyways, here's the white tabulas. Tabulas. That one guy pronounced it tabula, so I'm pronouncing it tabula. No, like he was saying it. Don't get hit by the fire, it hurts. But yeah, I was thinking maybe just take the best footage of whatever I recorded from that day, and then I could upload it on Fiddler as a 30-minute video. And I'd ju just do that whenever I would feel like recording some of it. 
would be fancy. Me thinks. Sorry I'm getting so off topic in this video. <laughs> So, um, as far as Final Dungeons go, this, this place isn't too bad. I mean, the enemies can definitely kick your butt if you aren't careful and you, you know, get stuck in their flamethrower breath for t too long like I almost did back there. But, generally, you shouldn't have too big of a problem with this place. Aside from the giant exploding turtles. Giant exploding turtles! Could have sworn we got the Emma Shield, but we did not. Just got a blue potion and a white tabula. Tabula! Do we have the black tabula? Tabulas. I think we do. Yeah, we have all five of the tabulas. All five of the tabula. Tababa boo baba. Oh yeah! Um, so yes, yeah, as far as these mini-boss things go and the Wings of Alma, it's about all we have left to the game, aside from actually finishing it, so hopefully by the end of this dungeon I'll be around level, um, uh, level 50-ish. Actually, I think it was level 55 they said it was as the minimum to beat this guy. Which is kind of ridiculous, because if I could beat the game at level 48, you know, what are they expecting? Ow! Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Those things are not pleasant when they hit you. I'm trying to use everything but the blue potions. So is that. I don't like these two guys they have in a row. Ah. Can lead to bad times. Very bad times. Thank you. He wasn't gonna heal me more anyways. I wish he would. I always like it when they do that in games. Like sometimes in RPGs they just have these random enemies that'll come by and heal you for no reason and just run away. They're great. It sucks when you accidentally kill them though. Go. Yeah, it's definitely good for collecting ammo and uh, leveling up, but if we are not careful, we could easily die. Quite rather. We're getting a lot of wild fowl meat, which is very nice. Wild fowl meat is good for health and such. These things, on the other hand, are not so much. Let's take out these two dudes first. And now let's take care of the boss. Ow. Now let's take care of the boss. Would it? There we go. We got him. I love that. He's supposed to be 3D and he's stuck to the wall, but when he turns 180 degrees, he just has this little glitch in them. It's wacky. Everything in this video is wacky. We have a wackiness minimum in our, our videos. We also have... Cap Kapla water. Kapla water. That's how I would pronounce health water. Kapla water. How do I say health? Kapla! <sighs> so we're almost ready to level up yet again. Oh, I think I remember these guys. They're just a bundle of not very much fun. At all. I want to take out the health giving guide first, just for the fact that I don't want these things being healed. At all. This isn't pleasant. 
<laughs> not even that worked. Wow. Not even that worked. Not even that worked. My god, they're invincible! Uh, we're going to have to set some else to the hotkey thing. That'll work. Okay, I guess that if... As long as we keep on stabbing them, they won't be able to attack us for long, so... Let's go with that. We're also almost out of time, so... Okay. Let's kill this dude. And let's kill that dude. Okay, right, stopping. 